Bonsai Dream. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here with this beautiful Taxus Cuspidata from Japan. I just finished to refine and shape this tree and I want to show you all the process. I start selecting the green. I want to remove the lower branch because it's unnecessary for the final design. But I'm going to keep uh, all uh, the branch uh, to create a nice gin. I want to get the tree much compact so I will also remove uh, some branches from the upper part uh, of the tree that are overgrown. It's now time to create the gin. I start peeling out the bark using a rudiban so I can expose the fiber of the wood. After having all the gin clean using a gin plier or a branch splitter I will break the fiber of the wood to create a natural look. This gin has to combine with the older gin that I have in the lower part of the tree and they are a very attractive part for the final overall look of the tree. Taxus is a conifer with a lot of dead wood, so when we design a tree and we remove some branches, it's good to use them to create more gin and eventually more shari for the overall look of the tree. The frontal live line of the tree died back uh, along the years, so I need to clean that part uh, and made it look uh, like part uh, of the frontal shari of the tree. Again, I'm gonna use my bark uh, stripper, my rudiban, and remove all the old bark uh, and clean that section. In the upper part of the trunk uh, I cut a long branch uh, and I'm gonna clean another gene. In the future that section will be connected to the frontal shari. line coming up from the right side of the tree, looking at the tree from the front, is all together. So starting from some old dead wood, I need to reselect so time by time I can divide that thick live line into different smaller ones.
is important, especially for the part of the live line that we can see from the front, that that section is very visible. So doing this little shari, I can improve the tree to thick up and round up the live line that is in the front. Now that the selection and that are done, it's time to start preparing the branches for the positioning. The first thing is uh, to wire all the branches. So I start with my wire from inside outside, connecting two branches together, and I position the first piece of wire. It's very important to create uh, the good connection so I can have a good anchor for every single branch that I have to position. While I wire, I also eventually clean some of the smaller branches. Now that the branch is completely wired, I start selecting the secondary structure and align the final tips, cleaning the lower parts and start making my first pad. This is the first line that I will follow on my way up to the top. This first pad will be divided in some smaller one. It will be not only one big pad, but it will be divided in three or four parts, creating a nice rhythm between the different grid masses. It's always very important to clean all the lines. You can see the final result on the first pad. Now it's time to work in the lateral one that will make the depth in the left side of the tree. I need to wire the branch first of all and then bend the branch using a guy wire to move the entire green mass forward and create the space that I will need to focus the attention of the observer on the deadwood. I anchor my wire into a piece of gin and then with my pliers I move the branch so I can get all the foliage forward. After that I position all the lateral branches and again create my pads. If you want to have more information about wiring, I leave a link on the description about my book where there is an article about wiring and also my YouTube video about wiring where I teach all my tips and tricks to a good wiring for bonsai. This tree is a field grow Taxus cuspidata from Japan. Incredible to think that is not a Yamadori, but normally Taxus Yamadori for Japan have a hollow trunk. This type of material is grew along many many years in field and with the reselection they can really make it look like a real Yamadori in terms of that wood and live line. Taxus is a very strong species and is very very good to grow for bonsai. I love Taxus and I have a lot of them in my bonsai collection. The foliage is very nice and tight and we can build, as you can see on this image, very beautiful pads and the tree is always willing to really shoot strongly and create a lot of back budding and so we can create in a small amount of time very mature foliage. I'm on my way up to the top. The general shape is already visible. I start from the right, 
lower branch, then move myself in the lower left branch and work my way to the top. It's now time to compact the branches that will build the top of the tree and the dome. The two lines, left and right, will match on the top for the triangle of the tree. You can already see that with this type of shape I was able to highlight the movement of the trunk and all the details on the deadwood and the live line. Here we are at the final touches and uh, voila, le jeu sont fait.